the mighty moorlands of the southwest of England. These diverse uplands have long inspired generations of writers, artists, naturalists and hikers, all drawn to their beautiful landscapes and vast open spaces. This rich and varied mix of habitats, farming systems and microclimates makes these moors a haven for half of all the UK's butterfly species, including some of the rarest and most endangered in the country. High browns, marsh and heath fritillaries, as well as pearl-bordered and small pearl-bordered fritillaries, all find refuge and protection here. These precious and beautiful remnants of a time when nature was more abundant rely on the moors for their survival. But here, and throughout the UK, our butterflies and moths are in trouble. Changes in land use and climate are driving catastrophic declines in many species. Why does this matter? Our butterflies are struggling to cope with what we're doing to the environment, and they're calling for our help. In 2017, Butterfly Conservation launched a three-year initiative to safeguard rare butterfly and moth species across Dartmoor, Exmoor and Bodmin Moor. This urgent mission, known as All the Moor Butterflies, set out to deepen our understanding of what's happening to these rare and precious species and to improve the habitats on which they depend. Butterfly Conservation has enlisted the willing cooperation of landowners, farmers and volunteers across all three moors. Working together, they are supporting sensitive farming practices and care for the land in ways that allow butterflies and moths to thrive. We've been working with Butterfly Conservation probably over the last 10-ish or so years and it's very important to us to not only make sure we leave this in a very fit state for the butterfly, we want to protect it as it is and preserve it for future generations. We have changed our farming system of how we graze for marshes so it makes you feel very humbled in a way that, that it, they are just keep on returning and returning which obviously means there's something going on right but it has been a benefit to both us and butterfly conservation and more importantly the environment as a whole. Spending time outdoors and reconnecting with nature can have hugely positive effects on both our physical and mental well-being. Butterfly conservation have been providing more opportunities for people to get outdoors and access these wild and inspiring places. Butterfly conservation, it was just a wonderful opportunity to uh, have a chance for people to get involved in conservation, in looking after the planet as a sort of way to look after themselves that people who struggle with mental health can have a lot to give back. I think they feel more connected, you know, with where they live and the world around, around them. And getting involved and giving back is something that's vitally important to our mental health. We couldn't do this without, without butterfly conservation. I think butterfly conservation then also um, op opens their sort of doors or perspective to um, a new audience. The collaboration, particularly with Devon Recovery Learning Community, has been really important. There's absolutely no way that Butterfly Conservation would have been able to do the work without the, the collaboration and working in partnership with them. A dedicated team of over 250 volunteers have given their time and effort to the project, surveying species, helping with essential habitat management and educating the next generation. A strong sense of common purpose has flourished within local communities, and knowledge, skills and experience has been encouraged and exchanged. I really love volunteering to work with butterfly conservation because I have been learning more and more about this wonderful wildlife. We're all so interested and so keen to learn more that it's just a wonderful, harmonious activity. Partnering with other conservation organisations has been vital to the success of the project. Pooling knowledge and combining outreach, we've worked together to restore habitats and directly support a range of species. There's been quite a history of uh, the National Trust and Butterfly Conservation working together on the Heath Fritillary. Last year's flight season was the, was the best ever flight season we've known on the Honeycutt Estate. That came at a kind of, I suppose, a midpoint in the project. It was really great to see so many butterflies flying and we had our new volunteers surveying them and yeah, there was a real, real high point, I think, that summer. As Southwest Lakes Trust, I know we really love getting involved with other partner organisations. They share with us knowledge that we might lack and we share with them local knowledge about the area. With the whole um, environmental emergency and kind of climate change being at the forefront of all of our media, 
I have seen a real interest in people wanting to get involved, wanting to help. I think more and more people are um, becoming aware about the environment and, and thinking what can everybody do and if we can all do our little bit, that bit extra, that gives us some hope for the next decades, doesn't it really? Being out in the fresh air is so good for, for everybody, the mind, the body, everything. And with this butterfly, if we can actually help build their numbers, there's a feel good factor there too. Over three years, All The More Butterflies has involved more than 4,000 people. Each of them has helped make the project a success. Discoveries by volunteers have more than doubled the number of known colonies of the rare marsh fritillary butterfly on Bodmin Moor. As a result, not only do we understand much more about this butterfly's ecology, but Bodmin Moor has been revealed as one of the most important landscapes in England for this elusive and endangered species. Farmers, volunteers, partner organisations and local communities have come together to give all the more butterflies and moths a brighter future. This initiative shows that if organisations and individuals work together, we can really make a difference and help reverse declines in threatened butterfly and moth species, in turn creating a healthier environment where both people and wildlife can thrive. If you would like to meet like-minded people and join in the work of butterfly conservation, you too can make a difference by contacting your local branch and seeing how you can get involved.